In this video, I wanna show you how to create visually appealing headers and footers. I've got two hacks. One involves using document themes and the other one involves using shapes in both your headers and footers. By the end of this video, you could take a document like this and make it look like this instead. All right, so in our Word document, we've got this kind of golf report and I'll show you how to work with headers and footers and some of the options that are available to you. I'll show you how to do kind of a standard business document header footer and then uh, we'll get uh, started with a, a more visually appealing one. So to access the header options, a really quick way to do that in your when you start Microsoft Word is just to find the empty white space at the top of your document and then just double click it. And then you see this header and footer tab pops up and you've got a ton of options in this ribbon. You can insert the date and time, you can insert document info, you got like the author's name and stuff like that. Uh, the file path where you can actually find this file. So that's a really great feature because uh, you might be working with people and say, hey, where, you know, where is this document located? Well, you could, you could put it in your header and footer and everyone would see it, that kind of option as well. Uh, you can do pictures. So pictures is a great option. I've done that before. And then you've also got a lot of templates that Microsoft Word offers. So if you look down through our header here, uh, a lot of bluey kind of options. And I'm going to show you a little trick that I use if I want to have a little bit more options when it comes to color. This is very kind of business straightforward style with lots of blue kind of bland colors, nothing too extreme. But if you want to change that, I've got a little trick for us. We're doing a golf report. And when I think of golf, I think like green. And there's not a lot of options here in the uh, built-in templates. We can change that. We can have a lot, little bit more options for our header that we want to create just simply by changing the theme. So we're in the Microsoft Office theme right now. And uh, if we go to the design tab, the design tab has on the left side of the ribbon, uh, there's a drop arrow here called themes. You'll notice that the office one is selected. Here's a preview of what the office theme, some of the theme colors come with. This is what it looks like on your left of the screen. And this is what the, I think it's facet, if I'm saying that right. It's not faucet because that's, that's a different word. Facet um, has a lot more greens to it on the right here. So that's a theme I could choose. You get a little bit of a preview of some of the color palettes that are available in each theme. And uh, the facet one works well for what we want because there's a lot of green options there. So I'm gonna switch the theme to that just by clicking on it. And then now I'm gonna go back to our header. We're gonna double click on it and uh, look at what the options look like now. Okay, so we've got kind of a nice green uh, options here. You could do like a banded header. You could do kind of one that comes with a, a page number and you've got like green text. So it's just kind of like fits the uh, fits the purposes of our document very well. I kind of, I like this one, the retrospect uh, style, but I kind of want one where, yeah, something like in the, in the top right corner, right there. So I'm gonna choose that kind of uh, header template. So templates are great if you wanna save time. I'll get a little bit more creative um, in our footer, but this is how you could use a template in both your header or footer. So double click. Um, I don't need the page number. Now, the great thing about headers and footers, uh, if you had the page number, it would just kind of repeat the page numbers on each page as you scroll down the document. So real time saver there, it can do page numbers. Um, you can insert the date or maybe, you know, in, in professional business documents, you would have the page number and then your last name or the, the author's last name on the right side. But we're, we're trying to be a little bit more flashy with this one, make a more visually appealing one. So we can manipulate this a little bit by, I don't need the page numbers. Um, it is a great option, but and then we can pull the shape kind of right to the corner there. That looks a lot nicer. And then maybe make this bigger. Yeah, make it a little bit more eye-catching that way. There. And then I'll just double click to get back to my document. So there's our header. Again, if you want to put in other options, like you can put the date and the time, that kind of thing. Put in some pictures if you feel like it. Online pictures you can grab that are copyright free, by the way, um, in these Microsoft programs. Just some options there. Now let's be a little bit more creative in our footer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna scroll down to our footer. I'm gonna double click on that. And you see that our header has repeated on the second page, which is nice. So I'm gonna double click on the footer. And this is where we're gonna show off our creative side. So I'm going to start using shapes and we're gonna try to, let's see if we can create like a golf hill. So like a slope or something like that. So I'm not skilled with graphic design, but I do know how to manipulate shapes in Microsoft Word, PowerPoint and Excel. So uh, let's see. We'll just put a green square all over the place here in our footer area. And one of the, yeah, let's try and do that quickly. Okay, I'll drop that there. Um, one of the annoying things about shapes in uh, these Microsoft programs, it assumes you want an outline. So, and clearly that's not what we want. 
And I, the green is good, but now that we have all these different kinds of greens, oh, I like that one, the dark green at the bottom, yes. Okay, so that's another reason why you would change kind of a theme color. Look at all the greens I've got now. So you wouldn't have that in the Microsoft Office default theme. So uh, dark green, that looks good. That actually looks like grass. So, uh, and now I can use kind of a circle to like add a little bit of a slope to this. So I'm gonna try my best here to insert a circle. This is a little trick that I learned. Um, if you want to sort of manipulate shapes or um, white something out in a Microsoft Word document, just put like a, a white square over top of it. No one will know. <laughs> so um, when you print it off, it all looks the same, right? So let's see. If I do a circle like this, it would slope, but I got to like angle it a little bit. So this could take a little bit of time. Um, that looks, that's not bad. That's getting there. So let's see what that looks like right away. So we'll just shape fill white and then obviously take out that outline because we don't want people to know what we're doing here. Um, <laughs> okay, so that's starting to look like it. Now, if I add a few more circles um, or squares, even white squares to uh, block out this first part, we are actually starting to see kind of like a, a sloping footer and creative footer, the one that we created. So, um, all right, let's go. So we got shape fill. White again, and no outline. Oh, look at that. It kind of worked on the... Oh, I gotta... You know what? No, I gotta pull this up a little bit. We might have to angle it. Actually, that looks good. It's got a little... There. I'm actually happy with that, the way that turned out. So I was a little bit nervous that wouldn't work out. Now you can add a little bit. That's a sort of cutoff. Um, so you can add another... I think if we added a circle that went... If we just add one more circle, that adds in kind of a... And I'm going on, but um, mm -mm, just a little bit of a round edge to that hill there. Okay, but we have to make sure that we fill it with the same dark green and then take away the outline. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's not bad. That looks that looks all right, but yeah, now you could play around with it. But I think I'm happy with that the way that looks right there. So unnatural, <laughs> but anyways, I could be here all day doing this, but. That's how you kind of create kind of just uh, your own creative design using shapes. All right, I think I got a footer now that I'm happy with. It looks like a slope of a green. I could keep working on it, add some layers to it if I wanted to, but uh, I think this looks great. I don't know, the header and footer. Um, now there's one little thing I'd love to show you that could add a little bit of dimension to this as well. And that is some page borders because we've got something going on at the top, at the bottom, and this could be, you could leave that alone. But I also wanted to show you what you could do with page borders as an option. So uh, we'll click this uh, in the home tab, click this borders drop arrow, go down to borders and shading. That's going to allow all of our border options. Go to page border. So, and then we'll add a box. And then you've got all these styles that are here in this uh, menu. I'm going to do like a double arrow and then we'll stick with, see, we've got a nice green. I'm going to use the same dark green and make it, yeah, I don't want to make it too wide. You could use art, but that's sort of cheesy. Um, and then I don't want it going along the bottom, so I can take off the bottom option, maybe around the top. Yeah, maybe the top and the sides would be nice, but the bottom is sort of like overdone with that slope there. So I'm gonna press okay and see what that looks like. And we've got kind of a nice uh, page border there. So yeah, just to just add a little bit of visual element around the sides of our uh, document at the top and uh, just by adding a page border. Now it's simple to create a header and footer that repeat on multiple pages, but it's difficult to create a separate header and footer that starts on a different page. I've got a whole video on how you can do that potentially just by creating section, different sections in your document. That's on your screen right now. So if you want to check that out, you want to see how to do that, that's in that video. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.